Here we have an original 1940-41 Daisy Red Rider pre-war gun with the original box. One of the ways you can tell these are the original box for the pre-war guns, it says golden carbine bands. That was later changed. But the other than that, the box is the same for the later guns. With this, that's a reproduction of the uh, holder for the BBs, original BB tube. That's an original pin. There's a guy that makes those on uh, eBay. He does an excellent job with them. He makes even a bunch of uh, hang tags and some other things too. It's an original deluxe cleaning kit with all the stuff in it still intact. And this was a belt buckle offered by the Daisy Museum. It was from uh, Oren Reinbar's collection. Here's one of the Red Rider books. Anyway, this Red Rider. There's your, your name, your patent dates, and all that fun stuff on there. It's also fitted with the number 300 scope on it. That was an option that you could get. And again, the, the copper bands on it. That is the, the easiest way to spot a first model Red Rider is with those copper bands. And again, the box is, the box is tougher to find than the gun, of course. Usually they probably got thrown away or tossed out. So just having any any example of Red Rider first edition box is kind of neat. The other thing that's usually missing on the scopes is that eyepiece. That's an original eyepiece. There is reproductions of those available also. The mount is the correct mount. It's original mount. It is never drilled into the stock, so the stock doesn't have the, the hole in there for the tang on that mount. But a really nice original pre-war Red Rider. And the thing it's sitting on is also a Daisy stand that was available. So Daisy sold those stands, you know, for you, in your cleaning kit. It was designed to, you know, it was designed to hold your cleaning kit perfectly underneath it. You get them, you know, your Model 25s would fit on there. Obviously the Red Rider and many other guns that Daisy had at the time. The other thing you'll find on the earlier stocks, it's got Fred Harmon's signature underneath the horse's foot. That was dropped later on. But there it is. 1940-41 Copper Banded Red Rider.